Hello, my name is Robert Haddad, and today I'll be talking to you about the great saint of Hawaii, St. Damien of Molokai. Our Lord Jesus Christ once said, Greater love has no man than this, than to lay down his life for his friends. St. Damien of Molokai was a supreme example of such self-sacrificial love. St. Damien was born in the small town of Tremolo in Belgium on January 3, 1840. His original name was Josef de Wooster, and he was the youngest of seven children. Growing up, Josef was expected to one day take over care of the family farm, and after leaving school at the age of 13, worked on the farm full time. But the young Josef had set his heart on other things, and in 1859, at the age of 19, followed his older brother into the congregation of the Sacred Hearts of Jesus and Mary. Yosef took the name of Damien, after a 6th century martyr saint. Brother Damien, at first, was thought to be too uneducated to become a priest. However, he soon showed his academic ability by quickly learning Latin from his older brother. Brother Damien was also devoted in prayer and each day prayed before an icon of St. Francis Xavier with the intention of becoming a missionary. This desire for mission was fulfilled in late 1863 when Brother Damien received permission from the Superior General of the Order to take the place of his sick brother for the mission in the Hawaiian Islands. Brother Damien arrived in Hawaii on March 19, 1864, and was ordained as a priest two months later on May 21. For nine years, he worked on the island as a priest, leading an important yet undistinguished life. In 1866, the Hawaiian authorities established a remote colony on the Kalapapa Peninsula on the island of Molokai, a place of forced quarantine for leper sufferers. These unfortunate people needed both spiritual and medical care. In response to the local bishop's call for volunteers, Father Damien discerned his call to serve the lepers. On May 10, 1873, Father Damien left to be with these people in their colony. When Father Damien arrived, he found the colony poorly maintained and in anarchy. Many patients were uncared for, while others took to heavy drinking and every kind of immorality. There was no law or order. Father Damien determined to take control of the situation. He organised people to come together to build houses and schools and eventually the parish church of St. Philomena's. This church still stands today. Order and routine brought both hope and consolation and made the colony livable for the lepers. Father Damien became a doctor for both the bodies and the souls of the lepers. The sick were cared for and the dead buried with dignity, without distinction for race or religion. All up, Father Damien built 600 coffins for the lepers. Originally, Father Damien was meant to serve in the leper colony for a limited time only, later, be, later to be replaced by other volunteers. But after working with the lepers so intimately, Father Damien asked permission to stay in the colony to serve permanently. His request was granted. After 12 years in the colony, Father Damien himself contracted leprosy. He realised this in 1885, when he placed his foot into scalding water by accident, but felt no pain. Despite his illness, Father Damien remained courageous and resilient, he continued his work, driving strength from prayer and devotion. He often went to the cemetery to pray his rosary and spent many hours in adoration before the Blessed Sacrament. He would write, quote, It is at the foot of the altar that we find the strength we need in our isolation. He declared himself the happiest missionary in the world. After 16 years in the colony, 
Father Damien finally succumbed to leprosy on April 15, 1889. He was first buried nearby. Then his remains were transferred to Belgium in 1936. His right hand was returned to Hawaii in 1995 to be reburied in his original grave at Molokai. Father Damien was beatified by Pope St. John Paul II in Brussels, Belgium on June 4, 1995. He was canonized on October 11, 2009 by Pope Benedict XVI. St. Damien of Molokai is now the patron saint of people with leprosy. His feast day is celebrated on May 10. The day of his passing into eternity, April 15, is recognized as a statewide holiday in Hawaii to this present day. In recent times, a prominent US Congresswoman called the placement of the statue of St. Damien of Molokai in the US Capitol Statuary Hall an example of, quote, patriarchy and white supremacist culture. Sadly, such a statement is illustrative of how modern generations have lost their sense of service and sacrifice, as well as any understanding of authentic self-giving love. If today's political elite were more interested in pursuing and promoting authentic love, born out of love of God and neighbor, rather than their own misguided materialist ideologies, the world and humanity would be a much better place than it currently is. St. Damien and Molokai, pray for us. Amen.